helps discover music. Like, is this something that you wanted to do since you were just a little kid? Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, it's, I guess it's something like I just it's all I've ever known. I really. Um, I don't come from a, the craziest musical family, but my family are very much so fans of like of music, and uh, we like we I had a we had a record player in the house like when I was a kid, and my dad would just play like Fleetwood and the Eagles and stuff like that. And I guess from a very young age, I was brought up in that kind of stuff. And my first concert was an Eagles concert when I was four. Wow! So I was I was just brought up around that kind of thing, and I just. Yeah, I just attached myself to music pretty much straight away. Now, was your family cool with you saying, like, I'm going to do music as a career? Or were they kind of like, ah, you sure about that? Well, I guess no one really takes you serious when you say you've got to be a singer, <laughs> do you? It's like, I'm going to be a rocket scientist. Yes, good one. Yeah. <laughs> and not that I'm comparing rocket science to music, but, yeah. um, you know, it's a lot more simple than that. But, you know, the whole getting there is the problem. Um but yeah, I don't think anyone takes you serious. It's kind of like, yeah, he plays, you know, he plays the guitar in the house all the time. He makes so much noise. Get him out. <laughs> I guess it's that kind of, well, yeah, we we believe in him. Well, it clearly worked out well for you, eh? Up one spot, we got Miley Cyrus. It's Malibu on the Fresh Top Tree. Got to know you through uh, One Direction. Did you ever expect the success of this band after, you know, just being put together through a TV show? No, no way. Of course not. We had no idea. You know, we were 16, 16, 17 years old. Um, and, you know, you're not going to believe your own hype at, <laughs> at 16 or 17. You know, you barely just got out of school. Um, so, uh, yeah, we had no idea. You know, it was crazy. And even when it was going along, we didn't really realize how crazy it was. We just kind of kept going with it. You know, and we didn't overthink anything. And it was just like being, it was literally like being at school, apart from at the end of school day, you just go on stage to a lot of people. Um, <laughs> a little so, different. <laughs> yeah. But um, it was just, yeah, we never really overthought anything and just had fun with it. And I think that was part of the, you know, part of why people liked us, I guess. Yeah. And I mean, it, it seemed to, as though it would have been overwhelming, but I guess you kind of said it, you just kind of did it and went with the flow at the time. Yeah. Obviously from the, I always used to think, <laughs> I always used to sit down at night and be like, I wonder what this looks like from the outside. Like, literally four or five lunatics just running around the place. You know, and just being idiots everywhere they went. And, yeah, I just kind of always wanted to see, because, you know, never got to, you know, you don't get to see, you know, we just were just like in our own little bubble going around on the bus, going around on planes with our team, and we just turn up somewhere, do something, and leave. You know, but from the outside, it seems like a whole bigger... You know, bigger things. So I, I always used to try and think of it that way to make it more interesting and more fun. It's Tony Ross. We got Niall Horan in studio with us. And coming up, we are always the plan for you to kind of just do your own solo thing. Uh, no, I, I'd never really thought about it, to be honest. It was so, you know, we were having so much fun and we were so invested in that that we never really thought about it. Uh, and then, yeah, I just, as I said, I just start. I, I, I went away um, at the start of last year. Uh, went traveling around Asia and then when I came back I just started writing and that was that's where it all came from really well again I will say it it has worked out quite well for you down two spots today on the uh, the coolest place for you to visit like does one stand out for you um I always really liked Australia yeah um something something really great about Australia I don't know what it is um are you afraid also, of bugs what the bugs? Uh, you don't really see them. Like, oh, you just okay. go to cities and stay away from that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, also, by the way, the Canadian people are very similar. We all have like, there's like an Irish, English, Australian, Canadian connection that no one else gets. There's a there's a humor thing going on there, a very sarcastic <laughs> thing, and it's great. So, but yeah, Australia. I did. I do. Like, my had cousins living there as well, so I would spe I would travel down there before we would tour. Australia. We'd always tour Australia in like February every year. So I would go down to Australia in January, spend a few weeks with them. So I got to know it a bit more than, than I did other countries. So this that's my thing for this. You know, if I do go on tour, which I'm looking at at the moment, I will uh, like make sure that I have spend enough time and, and get out of the hotel because I tended, like we tend to, before we tended to like stay in the hotel Probably because we couldn't get out the door. <laughs> um, it was actually a hotel that we stayed in. We used to like hub out of a city and like and like go and do a show and then fly back to that city and we'd stay in. We basically lived in the same hotel for like two months. Really? And I only until this year I'd never been in 
the lobby of that hotel. Really? So that says how much I got outside that hotel. <laughs> Wow, that'd um, be crazy. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is what the lobby looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, that's my thing. I want to get out and see it a bit more and not be, in, you know, stuck in by the four walls of my room. You know, it is a smart plan, you know, just give yourself that time to check some of these places out. Now, this one is up two spots this week. It's got Helm, a big one for us. So, uh, you know, as a visitor to Canada, what has been your favorite part of visiting our country? Oh, um, went to the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. Nice. That was quite cool. Uh, we drove from here, I think it was, yeah. Um, and then... Let me think. Do you? I've had some great times over here, over the years here. So I'm trying. To, I'm going through it in my head. Um, always have a great time in Vancouver. Yeah. Got some friends there. Got Buble there. Ah, oh, Buble. So, don't get me started on Buble. I'm here all day. <laughs> You're a big fan. One. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> um, don't we all? And I know it's beautiful down there on the water and everything. Uh, where else have I been? Um, got Montreal. Great little spot. Uh, lovely in French. Yeah, work on your French skills. Uh, yeah, uh, good food, nice cobbled streets, very nice place. Have you uh, eaten uh, poutine? Yeah, I love poutine. Yeah? Yeah, apparently, oh, we were going to get some last night, but the show finished. I didn't realize the show was going to finish until 11 p.m. or something. <laughs> um, and then um, Toronto is just great. Love Toronto. We played like the Blue Jays Stadium here um, a couple of times. So I've had some great shows here. And just it's just a very pretty country. You're very clean people. Um, <laughs> and very nice and yeah, very, welcoming. Very nice, welcoming, funny, very funny. Uh-huh. Uh, breath of fresh air to the world, some would say. Oh, stop. <laughs> you stop it. <laughs> Niall Horan joining us in studio today, and it only makes a tough question. But uh, since you've grown up quite a bit in the industry, is there something you know now that you wish that you knew then? Good question. Uh, <laughs> I never really thought about this. Uh, something I know now that I wish I knew. I wish. Uh, I knew <laughs> no no. Um I guess taking the time to, you know, see the cities, I guess that would have been helpful, but I guess you didn't really have a say. Yeah, there was I couldn't really get out, you know, there was a lot of uh, fans outside and stuff like that, so there was a lot of that kind of thing. Uh I don't know. I don't I, I don't really know. I'd I, I, really, I don't really have an answer for that one. I stumped you on yeah, one. you did, you did. You got me. Yeah. You got me, Connie. <laughs> well, I mean, that's something that you're going to think about, and then maybe, like, in yeah, two weeks. You. Yeah, and just be like, hey, I have an answer for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll just get back into the music then. It's going to go on, on tour, but no word yet on when you're going to do it. You'll probably announce it when you release your album October, November-ish? Yeah, probably, yeah. I'm just kind of, like, in, the, in that process now of talking to my agent and people who do all that kind of thing and uh, <laughs> trying to come up with some sort of a plan and and uh, yeah because I that's the best part of what, what we do there's no secret it's the best part about what we do getting up on stage and you know giving people what they want for an hour and a half basically so I'm that's my favorite thing so is I'm it ever forward to get on the road is it ever scary though like getting on stage and there's thousands of people just the first, uh, I get nervous for like TV performances. They're the ones I get nervous for. But when it's your own show and you're doing it religiously every night, you know, and you know, you you know the crowd are there for you. You know, it's just so fun. You can just roll with it and see what happens. And kind of, I'm not one to overthink things anyway. <laughs> I just kind of just <laughs> go with it, see what happens, and yeah, just go with the flow. Indeed. Coming up, we've got the biggest song in Canada. It's next on the Fresh Top 20. What's Canada's no- Top 20 Studios, thank you so much for uh, co-hosting with me today. We look forward to hearing the full album, Slow Hands' new single right now is out, and you can hear it on Fresh. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And a big thank you to Universal Music and friends at ET Canada, and of course, producer Adam.